What's going on? Good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're on a big adventure. We're coming to the uh, Springfield, Massachusetts to see the Basketball Hall of Fame. That's uh, Dr. Naismith behind me. He invented basketball. I I've looked at this place a million times. It's a wicked cool building over there. Uh, shaped like a huge basketball. If you've ever seen it, if you ever drove by, it's really neat. Uh, but I've never been here, so I really want to check it out. I can't wait to see this place. See how you measure up to Michael Jordan? Yep. Let's see. Whoa, you got some growing to do, huh? Let me see how I match up. Whoa, we're like twinsies. <laughs> cool. Hey guys, so we're going inside. I guess they have like three floors and yeah, it's gonna be cool. Uh, we have lower, lower baskets. Hi, I'm Brian Musburger. Welcome to the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Established in 1959, it's the world's premier basketball museum. First off, the honors ring. Where the game's greatest players, coaches, referees, and contributors are enshrined. Join us for a walk through basketball history you'll never forget.
was cool. Oh my god, the pumps, I remember those. That's awesome. Ah, oh, this is really cool. Larry Bird, he is amazing. It's so cool to see all this awesome stuff. Nemo, see how you measure up. Wow, pretty close. Pretty close. All right. He's got like 13 inches on me. <laughs> Austin, put your arms out. Whoa, you guys are like the same size. <laughs> The will to win is grossly overrated. The will to prepare is far more important. And it's true, I mean, everybody wants to win. Everyone's motivated to win, but when you push yourself to prepare, that's a really, really good one. I like that. This is all Michael Jordan's shoes. Are you guys hanging out with Michael Jordan? How cool is that? Hey Nima, you know what I just realized standing back here? It's like a flag. It's like American flag. That's they got the blue up there and the red and white stripes. I didn't even notice when we were standing up close, but far away. Austin. Austin, hey, <laughs> you guys are almost as tall, Aiden, you're almost there. Stand right next to brother, right here. It's crazy, 5'3". So now we're going into the last floor, down at the bottom of the basketball court. We're going to play some basketball, have some fun, and that will be the end of the day. Are you going to go play basketball down there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, you can go through right here. Uh, thank you. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking it's gonna happen. It is so tricky to uh, videotape right now because basketball is flying everywhere. All the kids are playing basketball, so. Try 
trying to make that basket right there. Wow, look at this place. It's crazy. This is this is one part I really like. Is the different hoops over the years, how they progressed. Really cool. You can, and they let, they let the kids shoot and play on all of them. Really neat. All right, guys, we're finishing up here at the Hall of Fame. It was really cool to see all the awesome stuff, the jerseys, the balls. The, it really, and you see a lot of names that I haven't seen in so many years you kind of forget about. It was really cool. Yeah. Um, if you guys are ever in Springfield, Mass, definitely worth the trip here. We had a lot of fun. Kids had fun. They actually had a lot of stuff for the kids to do, and they get to play at the court in the end. It was really cool. So, all right, I guess we're going to head out to the next thing. And, of course, a trip to the Hall of Fame wouldn't be complete without going to Cold Stone and get a nice cold ice cream after. Perfect day for it, too. It's beautiful out. What do you want? You want A or you want cake? Which one? A. <laughs> you want the ice cream. Surprise, surprise. You make millions, I, I want part of this. Sounds good, we'll remember you, James. Give James millions. <laughs> Here's yours and Austin's. Did you want some ice cream? So we just finished up at the Basketball Hall of Fame. Inside the Hall of Fame, they have a Cold Stone Creamery. So we stopped and got a little bit of ice cream. Everyone wanted a little treat. <laughs> I'm Instagramming at the same time. <laughs> that is so funny. So everyone got a little treat. It's really cool here because they have like the Sub-Zero slab and they uh, mix your ice cream by hand. They'll put your ingredients and mix it all up right in front of you. It's a really cool place. All right, guys, was this a good end to a good Hall of Fame trip? Yep. <laughs> was it a good end? Say yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, let's see you guys. Aiden did pretty good. Nima, I don't know. You could have done a little better. And Austin is the grand <laughs> champion of ice cream, Ian. Was it good? Was it good? <laughs> You're silly.